Hello and welcome everybody, this is Aprilion, thank you for watching this video about NBA 2K14 Big Man. And today I uh, want to talk to you about trades and uh, some things that I have noticed and uh, let's call them tips about trades. But first, uh, just a quick uh, overview of uh, my other matches that we had with me as a starter for uh, the Washington Wizards before I asked and got traded. The first one was of course against the San Antonio Spurs. I did uh, quite well in this match. I actually finished uh, with 20 points and 10 rebounds and uh, quite a few blocks as well. And uh, this was the other match that I mentioned in an earlier video. The one where uh, Tim Duncan didn't really score anything. As you can see, he scored two points with 0-4 shooting, so that were basically free throws, and he had seven rebounds. But uh, I had a really nice overall game. Then we had uh, two back-to-back -back matches against the, the Cleveland Cavaliers. The first one was really a heroic battle because oh, just look at that dunk on Bynum because I had a really good uh, performance and it actually went into overtime and I believe that I, I almost had a triple-double with the points, rebounds and blocks but we'll see that in a second so it was really a, a, a nice match, nice highlights and actually I was surprised to see that Andrew Bynum's uh, bruiser that I really hated in 2K13 is actually not that overpowered in this, uh, and just look at that dunk. So in this year, this year's uh, game, it's uh, the bruiser is toned down a bit, but uh, so it's uh, really not that annoying to play against them. But unfortunately, we lost. They, the opposing team, didn't bug. <laughs> Luckily, so they had a good overall performance. So just look at that. Uh, I had eight blocks. Uh, I don't know how many, 16 rebounds and 20 points or something like that. So almost a triple-double with blocks. And then we had the other match uh, against, again, the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. And I actually had my first fast break points right here. And uh, again, I was happy to see that uh, not only is Bruiser toned down, but speed actually works now as intended. So as you can see, Varaja couldn't really catch up to me because I was uh, ahead of him and I stayed ahead of him, so that's good news even for big men. So if you improve your speed, then you might be able to actually score <laughs> on a fast break. And of course some post moves on Varaja just to show him who's boss. And uh, again, this was a really nice match. And uh, I believe that we had a different outcome this time around. Actually, I have to say that the Cleveland Cavaliers are one of the... They are, they are a bit like uh, the 76ers, so they were last year for me, so I really have challenging matches against them, but uh, as you can see, we had a one and one, so won one and lost one. This was actually not an overtime match, so it was a clear win for us. The wizards and I became player of the game. It's 30 points, 7 rebounds, steal, and 4 blocks. And they again had a, a nice, not bugged kind of game. John Wall exploded again for us. And uh, of course, this was again a key game, so I had a nice income of of uh, points. Now about the trade part uh, and the tips. The first tip that I can tell you is to always look for the injury list because there are a lot of injuries this year in 2K14 at least in my first uh, season and the, the teams are really willing to trade uh, for you if uh, one of their key players is uh, injured. Now, with my alts, I had uh, quite a few test trades, so to speak. 
for my power forwards that I played with. Of course I did some reloading thanks to the possibilities on uh, the PC and uh, some some totes. I always got traded to power forward even though I played uh, power forward at and uh, center. The teams uh, that I tried for were the Chicago Bulls, never happened. The trade, the Indiana Pacers, never happened. Oklahoma City I tried a few times but it didn't really happen. I once got traded to the Phoenix Suns, <laughs> thank you very much. I once got traded to the Golden State Warriors because I believe both Lee and Bogut were hurt and I got traded there. It was okay but like I said in my uh, good, the bad and the ugly part of uh, the game video just uh, like two videos ago, if they bug out then they are b uh, quite bad because uh, Steph Curry is not really that good at uh, driving to the basket and David Lee especially is not that good getting offensive rebounds so that's not really gonna work once the Houston Rockets were actually interested in me because uh, of uh, Omar Ashik's injury but uh, the trade never go through but uh, most probably that would have been the best team for me because uh, as a big man in the game because uh, even if so they do the same thing when they when the game is bugged and when the game is not bugged because their guards will drive towards the basket and uh, Ashik and Howard and possibly me would get offensive rebounds and put back so that uh, that would be perfect you couldn't even notice the, the bug so that would be in the game that would be uh, like a perfect situation but uh, it didn't really happen because uh, apparently Omar Ashik got better by the time I got uh, the trade, or when the trade went through. Once I also got traded to the Dallas Mavericks, but they are horrible. Okay. And just out of curiosity, uh, sometimes I did ask uh, to be traded for the Heat. I actually, this year I want to play uh, for a better team, not like the Bucks, because I want to move at a faster pace, and I want to be able to sim through more matches and still make it to the playoffs so I were quite frequently asked to be traded to the Heat and actually every time I asked for it it went through just like this time. So here I am at uh, the Miami Heat and uh, the interesting thing is that uh, I'm like a 64 or something we'll see quite uh, soon but uh, and I was also a starter at uh, Washington. Now I got traded here the Heat, who uh, just if you check it out have uh, quite a few but reasonable amount of uh, key games. So I got traded here and as you can see uh, I'm a power forward so I'm not uh, at center and I'm the worst one at 65 and still I am uh, a starter. So if I was a starter then I remain a starter. Even if uh, the new team's uh, power forwards are better, and you can see that uh, they basically got me for like nothing because uh, they only traded an uh, uh, unknown player and uh, a draft week for me. And here I am in the starting lineup, so that's it for me today. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.